Hello, this is Judy Mario, and this is the World of Book Reviews. And tonight, we're going to be talking about some of my very favorite books. And the first book I want to introduce you to is The Power in You by Wally, famous Amos, and Gregory Amos. Now, Wally, famous Amos, is the famous Amos cookie man that makes all of the wonderful chocolate chip cookies, and Gregory Amos is his son. And they are talking about what it took to be really successful in life, not just in the cookie business, but in life altogether. Now, Gregory is a writer, and uh, as you know, Wally Amos is the uh, cookie, I'm not start to say cookie monster, but he's not the cookie monster. He's the cookie mogul. And uh, he's written this book, The Ten Secret Ingredients for Inner Strength. And it's really a fabulous book. It talks about the different things that help us have inner strength and inner peace. And, and these are things like love and integrity, honesty, uh, relationships and I absolutely love the book because it's a book that could change your life in fact Dr. Wayne Dyer even said this was a book that could change your life because of the things he talks about and one of the things I wanted to share with you was something that he wrote about um, the power in giving I thought this was really amazing he said some people live life as if it were a horizontal line with all of us standing in a single file fighting desperately to get to the front of the line. Fearing that there isn't enough to go around, they will do whatever possible to get to the front of the line. Steal, lie, cheat, even kill. My experiences in giving have helped me to see that in life it is a circle and there is enough to go around for everybody. And we are all standing in that circle holding hands and what you give in the circle comes back to you. And if you give love, that's what you get back. And if you get, give hate, that's what you get, get back. And when you give money and prosperity, you get money and prosperity in return. So be careful what you give to the circle because as the saying goes, what goes around comes around. So that's just one of the uh, small portions of this book that I think you'll see it's, um, it talks to us. Mr. Amos talks to us in plain language, language that we can understand, a language that uh, makes me feel as though he's speaking right to me when he's talking about the power of love and the power of giving and the power of receiving. And so um, I highly recommend that if you are looking for how to make yourself a little bit happier in life, this is a book to read. It is The Power in You by Wally Famous Amos, and he's the man who makes the Wally Famous Amos cookies, and he lives in Hawaii now, and also is an incredible uh, professional speaker. So read this book. It'll be great. You'll love it, and we're going to be right back. Thank you for joining me. We'll see you in a minute when we're going to talk about another one of my favorite books. I'm Jamie Lee Mapp, CEO and founder of Skin Fitness here in Las Vegas. We've been serving Las Vegas for over 17 years. We're proud to announce we just won 2017 Spa of the Year by Image International. That's the skincare company of the Miss Universe pageant. We offer exclusive treatments like our Time Eraser Facial, which uses multiple modalities and literally erases time. Our Pore Purge, which is the ultimate in hygiene, and our Fire and Ice Facial, which literally removes and soothes the skin at the same time. Come see us at our new location here in Village Square. We look forward to seeing you soon. Welcome back. This is Judy Mario, and this is the World of Book Reviews. And tonight we're talking about some of my very favorite books. And this is one I think you will really enjoy. It's a book called Kaffir Boy. It's an autobiography by Mark Matabani. I'm hoping I'm saying Mark's last name right. It's Matabani. Uh, Kaffir is a very derogatory term in South Africa. It, it, the real word Kaffir means a pagan or an unbeliever, but the word Kaffir in um, 
South Africa is a very derogatory term term for a black person. Now, Mark Matabani is a black person, and he wrote this story about himself called Kaffir Boy, and it is a true story about his life during apartheid South Africa. Now, many of us Americans don't know a lot about apartheid. Uh, we know that there were sanctions against South Africa. We know that there were laws. But many of us didn't know how really, really bad this situation was. And so when we read books about South Africa during that time, we can only start to imagine some of the things that went on. Now, I had the good fortune to live there during the end of the apartheid era, and I got to see how really, really unfair so many of the laws were at that time in that country. Now, Mark was an amazing young man who uh, wanted to play tennis, and believe it or not, it was against the law for him to be allowed to play tennis because the tennis uh, courts were all at the white country clubs and in the white neighborhoods, and he wasn't allowed to go and be there. But eventually he did meet some people who allowed him to learn to play tennis. He became an incredible tennis player and ended up getting a scholarship to play tennis at a university here in America. And so the story is Mark's story. It's about growing up in poverty, and he grew up in the township of Alexandra. Now, Alexandra Township was not far from where I lived uh, in Johannesburg, and it was, um, when we say township, those of us in America don't truly understand that a township is a an area that's built out of uh, anything somebody can find to build some kind of a lean-to in order to live in. So they live in shacks which are made of um, wood they found, pieces of wood, maybe uh, a piece of tin to make the um, roof, uh, black plastic trash bags, a uh, piece of cardboard, I mean anything that can be found to make some kind of shelter and there's literally thousands of people that live in these little shelters in these townships and they do not have uh, restroom facilities, they don't have floors, they don't have windows and it's, uh, it's a very, very, very bad living condition and Mark grew up in uh, this condition and he has had to overcome incredible, incredible um, difficulties and trials and tribulations to become the person he became. And he's written this interesting book. I mean, the book is so enlightening as to what went on in South Africa at that time. And it is one that if you enjoy stories about people who have overcome hardships, this is definitely a story that you'll want to read. It's uh, exciting, it's fun, it's sad, it'll break your heart in places, and in other places you'll want to cheer for him that things went so well at some times. So um, it's one of those books that takes you through all of the emotions that, that we can feel when we're feeling for someone else that we're hoping that their life gets to be better. So hope you really enjoy this book. It's called Kaffir Boy, and it's definitely one of my favorite all-time books of overcoming adversity. So this is Judy Mario, and this is the World of Book Reviews, and I thank you for joining me tonight as we have talked about some of my very, very favorite books. And now we're going on another break, and we'll see you soon. Are you frustrated and wasting time searching for high-quality education and entertainment and not finding it? Stop wasting your time. We've got your solution. Our three dynamic and unique online TV shows provide you with high quality and easy to find content. Everything from business skills and self-development to book and movie reviews and everything in between. At akexpertstv.com, you'll find high quality experts in their field. In one place, at no cost to you. Visit www.akexpertstv.com today.